Hello everyone and welcome to lesson number nine of Piano Video Lessons Note Speller Workbook. In the first eight lessons we have covered all of the notes on the lines and the spaces of bass clef and treble clef as well as the ledger lines in the bass staff. And now we're moving on to the treble staff ledger lines. And so uh, we're going to be dealing with the super high notes up here in the treble clef, as well as just a couple more notes right here in the middle. A ledger line is a small line that extends the staff beyond its original reach. Just helps us to write more notes without putting five more lines and making it all confusing. So we have been dealing with the notes from G, from E to G in treble staff. And now we're going to be dealing with the notes just outside the staff. So we're going to be dealing with E, C, and A on lines. And that's these three notes right here. And if you notice, it spells the word ace. And so the line notes are A, C, and E. And we're also going to be dealing with the space notes, G, B, and D. And that's these notes here, G, B, and D. And we can write those spaces, G, B, and D. So this isn't really a lesson, it's just a review. We're trying to get our, our um, recognition of these notes uh, to be much faster than it used to be. So let's just find those on the piano and play them. Starting with the line notes, we're going to play A, C, and E. And we're going to play G, B, and D. Now we could play them all, G, A, B, C, D, and E. And we're also dealing with these three notes here in the treble staff, B, C, and D. So these three notes, uh, just here in the middle, need a ledger line to write middle C and also a ledger line to write the note B. So I really want you to spend some time uh, playing these notes on the piano and associating with the lines or spaces. So again, remember that your ace is the three line notes from bottom to top, A, C, E spells ace. And then we have G, B, and D in the spaces. So what you could do now is just connect these notes up to their keys on the keyboard diagram. And the same thing here with the B, the middle C, and the D. And of course, then what I would like you to do is practice to draw these notes on the staff and as always be careful not to draw your um, space notes over any lines and also be careful not to make your line notes too big that they cross over more than one line and your ledger lines should be the same distance apart from each other as the staff lines roughly so again just writing these down and trying to reinforce their locations and again, you could just practice these some more. B, D, G, A, E, C. While well, looking at this chart with the, with the keyboard chart handy along with the staff. Now I'm just gonna remove these now that we've established that we're talking about these super high notes because we're moving on now to the worksheet. And all of these pages are available for print uh, at pianovideolessons.com in the note speller section. And again, this is lesson number nine of 10. Uh, downloadable for $1.25 currently and $9.99 for all 10 lessons if you want to do it that way. All right, so what we're going to do is now point at these notes and say their names. So just point B, C, D, G. Now, if you're not sure what the note is, just flip back over, locate the note and the name, and continue. Do that for the entire page, pointing at every note, D, C, every note in order, point at it, say its name. If you have to look up any notes, please do so. When you get to the bottom of the page, if you've had to look up some notes, you should do it again, just pointing and naming these notes. Continue to point and name these notes until you can do them automatically with no trouble whatsoever. And then you should move on to step two. Step two says play and name each note on your piano keyboard. So look at the note, say the name, and play it. Here we go. B, C, D, G, A, B, C, D. 
Now they get a little more scrambled up. A, C, G, D, C. Now look up any of these notes that you find necessary to look up. Check the chart. Double check your, your, your thoughts on this. Make sure you know where they are. Anytime you're unsure, look it up. There is also an answer key provided, so you could look at the answers on the answer key. I would rather that you check yourself at this stage. Really just, um, if you're not entirely sure that you're right, look it up. And again, do step two, looking at the notes, saying the name, and playing until you can do it with ease automatically. You just know these notes, no problems whatsoever. This might take you five tries. You could do this on different days. No one says you have to just sit down and do it right now. Uh, the next step is step three, which is to simply write the answers on the page. And of course, you can check these against the answer key. Once you've written the answers on the page, you really can't do steps one and two without reprinting the document or using a tablet or something to look at the keys. But once you're done here, you can check your answers using the answer key. And then of course, the next step is going to be writing the notes. So if there's an H with the letter, it means high. And if there's an M with the letter, it means middle. So there's going to be, um, yeah, duplicates of some of these notes. So it says to write high B which is here. So now I'm going to think of ace and the A is here and B is here. Now it says high D. So again, I can think of my ace, A, C, and here is D. Then it says to write the note G. Here we go, it's just right above. And now I could write other Gs, but we're focusing on outside the staff because of course we know there is a G here on line two. That's not the G that we're dealing with here. So as you go, anytime that there's a discrepancy between whether it would be high or middle, it's indicated and you can check your work on the answer key. So that's it for lesson nine. Lesson 10 is the last one. It's coming up next and it is everything. We're gonna practice everything, all the notes, top to bottom. And so um, yeah, that'll be your chance to really shine and uh, we'll see you on the next lesson. Thanks for watching.